What's up guys and welcome back to Game Take and to episode 5 of the Mod Studio 2 mini series. This is adding modded trucks to the database or new trucks to your database that's in Mod Studio 2 and it's coming up after this. Yeah, what's up guys? Welcome back to Game Take. And uh, I was asked if I could make this to show how to put these in. It's some people seem a bit unclear. So I'm going to open up Mod Studio 2. I'm over here on my desktop. Just open that up. Okay, now if you go over to SCS Tools and you click Vehicles, we have a look over on the left hand side. These are all your vehicles that are in here. And here they are all with little checkboxes. So you can take certain things out of we take the new trucks the old trucks just leave it as ETS take off ATS and take off the others you'll see that that's just the ETS trailers and if you were to tick the ATS box there's the ATS trailers now, this is a, a quite a good way if you take the trailers out and put the old trucks in this this will tell you what is simple truck skins because these are the old ones if we put the new ones in there you can see that would be advanced skinning so you can learn use this to your advantage as to what is what is what really also if you take out them and just put the others in you'll see the mods that you've actually added there's one i added yesterday um although that doesn't actually work so we don't copy that one okay so you're here on the, this page and now when you put the new ones in they'll show up down the bottom there so if you go load vehicle from mod you want to have your mod somewhere now if you look inside my mod studio 2 i should have a folder that's called user vehicles but i haven't got one so i'm going to add one in i'm going to make a new folder and you need to spell it exactly the same as what i'm just about to do and sometimes when you get a new update from mod studio 2 the user vehicles is there sometimes it's not so it's it's no big deal okay so we've done that I'm now going to extract my mod. This is a mod that I just quickly downloaded. You're going to press load from mod. And we're going to go to desktop. Find the mod on the desktop. Now you could have a folder with all these in. But I'm just showing you it this way for now. And then open the SCS. Click on that and you'll see this little box pop up. You need to tick that and select it. And then this box opens up. So on this this particular part, we need to change the game to whatever game you're using it for. In this case, it's ETS. And the vehicle type for this one will be old trucks. And then just click save. This produces the XML file for that particular mod. And now if you look down the bottom there, you can see that it's been added in and it really is as simple as that there are other ways this way will add any accessories in but you can add use the add new vehicle and do it that way and that will only add in the parts that you can paint but you have to do a lot of the configuring manually so if we have a look there it is you can see it up there so that's the one that i've added now this itself i later found out this particular one that i've just added in it's a, a locked mod but I didn't realise that, that's the trouble to, unless you go into it first. So don't copy that one, but I will be showing you one that isn't locked at the end of the video. So you go in, and if I show you what happened, once you've loaded it in, if you were to go to add a template, let's say we'll go for a simple truck skin, double click on the template, and you'll see there it is at the bottom. And if we were to add it in, it will add in the different cabs. That's how you know if it's worked, okay? But as I say, this particular one, there's no editing to be done apart from maybe on a bit of interior. Okay, so we just shut out of that for a minute. So I thought I'd get us a modded truck to see if we could put it in and make a mod. So I went over, opened up a browser, typed in ETS140, went to ETS.LT, and I eventually settled on this Kenworth T680. Downloaded that from Share Mods, and then ran a quick scan on it with malware bytes. That was all good. So then we dragged it out onto the desktop. 
and then I opened up the archive just to see if it was possible to make changes in here went down to vehicle truck upgrade and then went down to paint job opened it up in there couldn't really see so I changed the view after looking through the different paint jobs I eventually settled on this one so I thought right well just for this tutorial I'm just going to write a little bit of text on it just to make sure that it works so we added a layer named it text changed the colour to white and then quickly wrote out a piece of text made a few adjustments and moved it into place using the pixel mover that was all good so then I went up and uh, saved it first off as a PDN you can leave the name the, the name of it the same and then I went back and this time I saved it as a DDS still leaving the name because you want to overwrite the original file and then we came out of this and I grabbed the DDS and just dragged it in over the top of paint job number two it gave me this do I want to copy it to the archive yes and then then it said about updating it then I opened up mod studio 2 went into SCS tools vehicles let's remove the SCS you can see there's no chem within there at the moment so load from vehicle mod went down found it in my documents folder opened it up select that box selected it change the name game to ETS2 change the vehicle type to old trucks and then save the vehicle and then that makes it save an XML file for that mod and as you can see so it's always there now in my database all that Kenworth so you can go back and make a mod but I thought I'd see if it worked so I made an ETS2 project filled out the manifest as usual mod name mod author mod version and then paint job use the default icon then we added a simple truck skin template if you look down the bottom you can see there it is there's the Kenworth so I came over changed it to the high-rise sleeper build out the information the basic bit in skin internal name skin name skin price now this is where I made a mistake which I wanted to show you I then went straight on to image I didn't tick the alternate UV so this, I'm going to show you what happens when you don't do that if you if it's one that you need you don't actually know until you've put it in so I then went on to my desktop dragged in my DDS icon I used the default didn't bother with metallic or mask and then we went up and saved it as an MS2 project and just quickly named it hit save I went back and then hit export mod came down export this time I named it war and peace and saved it as an SES file I went to show in folder there's the mod I right clicked it copied it went back to documents euro truck mod and then pasted it in then I also put in the original Kenworth mod copied that and pasted that in and then opened up the game went in activated the mods Confirm the changes, continued the game, 
then went into truck dealers and accessed the mod dealer. And there's the Kenworth. Now, don't forget, I've only made a mod of one of the skins. There's quite a few skins go with this, which is why I did it this way. High Rise Sleeper, Paint Job, and there's my mod that I made. And as you can see, it should have been on the bonnet, and there's a lot of things there that are all wrong. I was looking round, and I thought, hmm, hasn't worked. But then I realised it had worked, but it's just in the wrong place. So I thought to myself, it's alternate UV. So I went back in, went back to the recent project. There it is, the Kenworth. So all I had to do was just basically go back through, make sure everything was still right. And this time click alternate UV. Made sure everything was good. The image was all still right. Went all through the th rigmarole, saved it all. This time saved it as war, exported it, put it into the mod folder, rushing a bit here, went through back into Euro truck. Now I imagined it would come up saying war, but for some reason it didn't overwrite the name in this. But it confused me for a bit, but then I tried it anyway. Stuck it in, confirmed the changes, continued the game, back into the mod dealer, back to the Kenworth, same again, high rise, up to paint jobs. There's the mod, and this time it's all in the right place. So there's one lesson. I just wanted to show you that if, if you, sometimes you just don't know if they're um, alternate UV, but you can see everything's in the right place now. And the mod was made. So there is a lot to add in the mods to the database. It's pretty simple, the actual adding of the mod, but finding one that you can actually mess about with and change skins and all that is quite difficult because there's an awful lot that have got strange bits in them to lock them and different things like that but anyway this one is one that you can do it to it's a kenworth t680 so i hope you found this useful guys um I, if this didn't answer any of your questions drop me a line in the comments and i'll get back to you and uh i'll catch you in the next one bye for now